उद्यमे ने भी सिद्धंति सक्सेस इज अचीव्ड बाय एफर्ट अलोन यंत्र इंडिया लिमिटेड और द वाईआईएल इज वन ऑफ द सेवन डिफेंस पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग्स फाउंडेड ऑन द फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर 2021 एस पार्ट ऑफ द पॉलिसी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू स्ट्रेंथन द डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ द कंट्री इन कीपिंग विद द पॉलिसी ऑफ आत्मनिर्भर भारत headquartered at ambajhari in nagpur in the state of maharashtra it comprises the ordnance factory dumdum located in kolkata in west bengal the metal and steel factory at ishapur near kolkata the ordnance factory katni located in the state of madhya pradesh the ordnance factory ambarnath near mumbai the ordnance factory muradnagar near delhi the ordnance factory bhusawal in maharashtra the ordnance factory ambajhari in nagpur and the grey iron foundry at jabalpur in the state of madhya pradesh the factories of the yil produce a wide range of specialized and complex materials and components the ordnance factory dumdum established as an ammunition factory in 1846 It is today a specialized unit for the manufacture of ammunition hardware and plastic components making ever the military grade ballistic tail units for the entire range of aerial bombs and fin stabilizing assemblies for tank ammunition fuses for mortars and most recently the point initiation base detonation fuse for the 40 mm under barrel grenade launcher it also produces anti-personnel and anti-tank mines and plastic components for small arms the metal and steel factory established in 1904 manufactures more than 80 different grades of steel for specialized applications for making gun barrels for the 30 mm bmp gun the 20 mm with dwonsak the 84 mm mark 3 rocket launcher and the t72 and t90 tanks and for the 155 mm artillery guns such as dhanush and sharang steel for forged components such as the ta shoe and the sharang breech block are also made here rolled steel bars rounds of ultra clean steel and empty steel cartridge cases complete the array of products of msf the ordnance factory katni situated in the state of madhya pradesh was established in 1942 for the production of non ferrous rolled and extruded products it makes copper and gilding metal tubes brass slabs cast coils brass strips and a range of die cast components it also makes cartridge cases for 105 and 130 mm ammunition the factory also makes copper and gilding metal cups for the entire range of small arms ammunition The Ordnance Factory Ambarnath also established in 1942 is a non-ferrous metallurgical factory manufacturing cartridge cases such as the 30 mm Sarat and the AK 630 cartridge cases the 40 mm the 84 mm the 76 62 mm the 105 mm and the 130 mm cartridge cases it also manufactures small arms ammunition cups and aluminum extruded products The Ordnance Factory Muradnagar established in 1943 manufactures steel castings for the production of hand grenade bodies and a range of armored and non-armored castings for tanks and BMP armored personnel carriers. The Ordnance Factory Bhusawal situated in the Khandesh region of Maharashtra was founded in 1949. It manufactures steel ammunition containers and transit boxes such as the box 18A 43A 51A 53A box H5A box M23B the box S12 and the box SPTA it makes boxes for modular charges and steel crates for 155 mm BMCS the collapsible pallet for mango ammunition cassette container carriers 6A and 13A and steel crates for aerial bombs containers for mango 155 mm charge 8 the akash sustainer and the unit load for 155 mm shells are specialized products the factory also makes drums for packing small arms ammunition 
The ordnance factory Bhusawal has diversified into the manufacture of pods for the Pinaka rockets. Ammunition components such as the frame cell and the IGB casing and the sprocket wheels for the T-72 and T-90 tanks. The Ordnance Factory Yambajhari was established in 1963 for the manufacture of medium and high caliber artillery ammunition hardware. Today, it manufactures the pre-fragmented Piraka rocket and other rockets such as the 140mm and the 68mm aero rocket. It manufactures the 155mm extended range boat tailed and base bleed illuminating and high explosive shells. It also manufactures 105 and 130 mm shells. The cartridge case for the 84 mm heat and illuminating, 125 mm shells for tank ammunition, 81 and 120 mm mortar ammunition, and the tail unit for the 81 mm in addition to fuses such as the B429 and the 429E form the range of ammunition production at OFAJ. In addition, the Ordnance Factory Yambajhari also makes lightweight and easily transportable bridging systems such as the dry KM bridge and the assault floating heavy bridge. A range of aluminium alloy extruded products and platforms for paradropping of heavy loads. The Grey Iron Foundry at Jabalpur was established in 1972 for the manufacture of automotive castings in technical collaboration with Skoda of Czechoslovakia. Today, it manufactures castings for the LPTA and Stallion vehicles and also the hull assembly for the mine protected vehicles. It has diversified into the manufacture of ammunition hardware and also makes castings for the indigenous Dhanush artillery gun system and is also involved in the upgunning project Sharang. Ordnance Factory Dum Dum has powerful laser cutting machines which can cut maximum sheet thickness of 18 mm. CNC turning and milling machines and turn mill centers incorporating the latest industry for features and CNC based plastic injection molding machines up to 550 tons. The metal and steel factory has extensive facilities for steel melting and refining and is a leader in electro slag refining which ensures a higher purity and secondary refining through the ladle furnace and vacuum degassing process. It also has forging facilities with upsetting capability for all types of gun barrels. The Ordnance Factory Cutney has expertise in the casting of copper alloys and continuous casting of brass coils and extrusion facilities for copper alloys in both solid and hollow profiles. The Ordnance Factory Umbernath has a wide range of technologies for the melting of brass, making brass coils, both hot and cold rolling of brass, continuous cast lines, coil milling machines, machines for splitting coils, new rolling mills and facilities for melting of aluminum alloys and aluminum extrusion. The Ordnance Factory Muradnagar too has a wide range of steel melting and molding facilities. The Ordnance Factory Pusawal has the complete facilities for producing boxes and has recently established facilities for the manufacture of Pinhaka pods. It also has a modern powder coating plant. The Ordnance Factory Ambajhari has the complete range of high-tech manufacturing facilities for the manufacture of cartridge cases and incorporates the latest industry for technologies leading to high quality of products. The bridge shop of the Ordnance Factory Ambajhari is one of a kind. The Grey Iron Foundry has the entire range of melting and molding facilities. The eight factories of the Yantra India Limited, with their diverse technological strengths, are dedicated to the goal of empowering the armed forces and strengthening the nation by ensuring high quality products. Yantra India Limited, marching ahead in the service of the nation. Jai Hind!